What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and behind me is the new 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL1, courtesy of Criswell Chevrolet in Thurmont, Maryland. And I will be going over everything about this one for you guys today. So as always, let's start with pricing. So the 2019 Camaro ZL1 is going to start at $62,495 for the coupe and for the convertible $68,495 which is an extra $6,000 for the convertible there. But regardless, power plan on this beast is going to be the same. Powering the ZL1 is going to be a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine, putting out 650 horsepower at 6,400 RPM and 650 pound-feet of torque available at 3,600 RPM. Power is going to be sent to the rear wheels through a six-speed manual with active rev matching, which will come standard and the one we have today. And that is gonna give you hill start assist as well, so you don't go drifting backwards but there will be an optional 10-speed automatic with paddle shifters available, which is the same transmission that I have in my 2019 Ford Mustang GT. But so then with all of that power, zero to 60 time is said to come in at 3.5 seconds, according to Chevy, and the quarter mile time at 11.4 seconds at 127 miles per hour. That is insanely fast for a factory built car. Definitely amazing there. And having recently drove the Tremec six-speed manual in the Camaro SS, I can tell you the throws are very short easy to find the grab points so no issues for me as far as rowing through the gears with that one and i can also vouch for the 10 speed as well since i do have it in my mustang that is definitely an amazing transmission so i would again recommend that one as well but to go along with that power there are several different drive modes available drive mode button by the way is located directly behind the shifter but that is going to give you snow and ice tour sport and track and that's going to adjust things like throttle response shift points the exhaust sound that is probably one of my favorite parts i'll get into that in a second but also the interior lighting if you have it set up that way and handling characteristics via the magnetic ride control system so back to the exhaust sound when you have it in tour or the snow and ice mode i'm going to show that to you guys now you can clearly see the exhaust valves on the outside of those quad tips are going to shut giving you kind of a quiet mode when you're in the neighborhood however when you put it in sport or track mode those outside valves are going to open up and let out a beast of a growl with some amazing crackling as well to it so you guys know what i got to do next before i go any further as always here is that exhaust clip So then the performance continues. Like I was mentioning, the magnetic ride control actually works with the performance traction management system and electronic limited slip differential to help you reach 1.02 Gs on the skid pad. And that grip actually gets even better if you go with the 1LE track package, which is the package that we have today on this ZL1. That adds an additional $7,500, but that is gonna give you several performance upgrades, including a carbon fiber weave hood insert, also a massive wheel and tire combination giving you 20 by 11 inch wheels up front and 20 by 12s in the back that is not only going to increase the handling but acceleration and braking as well that is insane and that one le package is also going to upgrade the dampers add adjustable camber plates and some rear stabilizer bars as well but touching on the braking a little bit since i mentioned it 60 to zero according to chevy puts it at 107 feet and i have seen it tested much lower than that but up front you will find 15.35 inch front rotors with brembo six piston front calipers and in the back four piston rear calipers and when it comes to visibility this is always everybody's favorite part with the camaro let me start by saying a rear camera mirror will come standard on the zl1 so if you're worried about visibility that is definitely going to help you out there but However, if you go with the one LE package, that rear camera mirror is actually eliminated, which puts the visibility back at the questionable status. But still like any car, in the end, I'm sure you will get used to it. But now let's take a look at the exterior of the 29 ZL1 because there are several changes. And let me first start by saying up front, you will find that bow tie logo nicely placed near the top of the front grille, as opposed 
to where it is now located on the new 2019 SS that people seem to not be a fan of. So definitely a very nice placement up there, but Z01 badging you're gonna find within that front grille as well. To the sides, LED dual element headlights with LED daytime running lights, and you will find a ventilated hood with the Z01 badging on that hood as well, and it is functional ventilation. As you guys can see here, it does help the engine breathe a little better. Make your way to the sides, you will find body colored power adjustable side mirrors, and they will come heated as well for anybody in colder climates. Also, if you look down ZL1 specific side skirts, you will find when it comes to the wheel setup, the standard setup for the ZL1 is 20 by 10 inches up front, 20 by 11 inches in the back. And that width again is increased by an inch if you go with the 1LE package. But those wheels are gonna be wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar Summer Performance Tires. So definitely very grippy, especially in warmer climates, unlike today here in Pennsylvania. But then making your way to the back, you will find a rear spoiler that will come standard. And it is a more subtle rear spoiler back there. However, if you go with the package that is what it's going to give you that sick larger rear spoiler that i absolutely love on this one and you can expect it will provide additional downforce on the track as well but looking down a little bit smoke taillights will come standard on the z01 as with the ss z01 badging also found back there and just below it all dual exhaust outlets with quad tips and that is a dual mode exhaust as previously explained earlier in the video but now let's make our way to the interior on the z01 first let me start with how to open the rear trunk there there is a button on the key fob, so if you like, simply press that. However, if you did not want to use that button, there is an additional hidden button just above the rear license plate there, and you can press that as well to open it up so long as the key is on you, and that is another way inside the trunk there. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 9.1 cubic feet for the coupe, 7.3 cubic feet for the convertible, and make our way to the rear legroom. That comes in at 29.9 inches, so for fun, I will give this a shot for you guys. I'm at even six feet tall, and this is how much space I have back there. Make your way to the front seats. You will find Recaro Performance bucket seats and they will come with an eight-way power adjustable driver seat, six-way power adjustable passenger seat, heated and ventilated. That will come standard and it is a nice combination of suede and leather. Suede helping hold you better in place on the track. So that is definitely going to be appreciated. Then looking forward, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel once again wrapped in suede and that steering wheel is heated by the way as well. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Chevy logo on on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock and that button to pop the rear trunk but it is actually all keyless entry so all i am going to do is simply put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up those gauges will do a full sweep tachometer is going to be on your left speedometer is on your right and there is a fairly large digital display front and center as well and to control what is on that digital display simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there but that's going to give you things like a digital speedometer trip a and trip B when you need your next oil change, tire pressure, of course. But then you can additionally check out some performance statistics up there, your audio information, navigation, Bluetooth, and there's a couple other settings you can scroll through as well. But now, so let me make our way to overall interior quality because I kind of like this one. You will get alloy sport pedals, which are definitely nice, illuminated sill plates. There also is a newly improved wireless phone charger, Chevy says, which is actually located in the back seat. So simply place your phone back there if you wanted to charge it. And another new feature for the 2019 ZL1 is new blended ambient light colors. Absolutely love this. That ambient lighting is going to be located on the doors and in between the cup holders there, but I liked it when it was solid colors before and I like it even better now that they're blended as well. So again, that's a new feature for the 2019 ZL1. And overall, the suede accents continue throughout this one. So it's not just on the steering wheel and the seats. It is also on the doors just above the glove box there and the shift boot and some other places as well. So definitely loving how Chevy tied the suede accents all together there but now let's take a look at the tech on this one. Standard setup will be an 8 inch color touchscreen display that will come with Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You will also find weather updates, climate control, there is a factory navigation system available for an additional $495. And another new feature for 2019 is there is some additional performance data recorder enhancements so when you actually do take this one to the track the car is going to record your track times and that is always a good thing but last thing I wanted to mention on that screen is when you do put the Camaro ZL1 in reverse and by the way since we have the manual to put this one in reverse you're simply going to press down the braking clutch and push the shifter into the upper right hand corner when you do that you will find a reverse camera for every single ZL1 letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags also driver and passenger knee airbags as well that doesn't come standard on every vehicle in the 
the back there is latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats you will also find an electronic parking brake just behind that drive mode button up front there stable track stability control with traction control will come standard along with a teen driver mode by the way do not let your teen driver drive your 650 horsepower ZL1, but if you have that mode on, that will restrict the teen driver from turning off the safety features for doing burnouts and so forth. And if they turn that safety feature off, that will be logged in the vehicle, so then you are aware. But continuing on, new for 2019, forward collision alert will come standard on the ZL1. Along with rear park assist, there is also rear cross traffic alert. And lastly, lane change alert with side blind zone alert. And so that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold